I'm back with another episode of this beach landscape and we're going to get this thing done. Last time I wasn't happy with the sky and I, when we finished I knew that was bothering me. I love my sand dunes, I love the grass, but the sky kept bothering me. And like I told you, sometimes the quilts will go through an awkward stage and then you can kind of bring them out of it. But this one was just getting worse. And then what I, I do, I make this mistake, which is real easy to make, that, well, if a little bit, you know, and it's still not looking right, then maybe a little bit more will make it look better. That's not usually the case. Usually it reaches a point that there's just too much there. And the more you add to it, the worse it gets. So I had reached that point. It was too busy. It, I want it to be, there is a little storm rolling in, but I don't want it to be a hurricane or a tornado. So I today, I will show you. I just ended up ripping the sky off, at least the right hand side. I said, I'm gonna start over again. Sometimes that's the best thing to do. The more you try to fix it, the worse it can get. So sometimes just pull it off and start fresh. I got so disappointed when I knew it wasn't working after last time we, I videoed that I actually took time and looked up on the internet to see if I could find better cloud fabric. And I actually found some that was really good. And I had to do a lot of searching. And I put it in my cart. What always gets me, what always makes me pause is the shipping. And when I paused, I said, Deb, you're giving up. That's too much like paint by number. And you can do it. You can push through this. So I didn't order it. And I thought, I want to show people that they can do it and they can make it work with the fabrics they have on hand. They don't have to go out and buy specialty fabrics. And in fact, if you are making a landscape with a flower garden, you can buy flower prints and just cut it out like paper dolls and glue it down. But that's, that's too easy. And I like a challenge. I want to see if I can take this fabric and make it work. Make, fool your eye into filling out that, that, uh, that landscape. And your eye does help you. It, it wants to see what you want it, what you want it to look like. Sometimes you just have to work a little harder at it. So I've pulled this guy off and I'm going to start again. Don't worry if I work a little bit in the quiet. Sometimes when I'm really trying to figure something out, I just need to be in my own head and work it out. But I'll come back at the end and kind of tell you what I've done. All right, let's get going. It's just too busy. There's really nothing I can do to save it. Just sometimes it's better to rip it off and start again. I spent a lot of time looking through all of my sky fabrics and said, is there fabric I have that could achieve an overall effect of the sky? that could do it without me putting so many little pieces together. I found this batik sitting right in my fabrics that I said, this will work. Look at all the different patterns and the gradations of the colors. I really think this fabric's going to help. And then if there's a little small part I want to put on, I can still do it but I think I have a good base fabric, something that'll give an overall feeling of the striations, the linear clouds, but that I won't have to cut up and piece. And look at the different shades. It goes down from the stormy looking dark up to a light blue. So I'm tickled that I took some time and looked for the right fabric. So, I'm going to look through this, see what parts I want to use, but what a wonderful, wonderful fabric. I've done a little work off camera. I wanted to kind of get my ideas down with fabric before I talk to you about it. But as you can see, 
I really tried to let that phenomenal fabric speak for itself, show its striations, the different colors, from light to dark, and where there have been special features, I'll go ahead and add more fabric where it's light and dark dramatically. I'll add that in. But I think it's working a lot better. And I've even gone back and done a little touching up around the sunset to get a better look that I like. So I'm pretty pleased. And the right fabric makes all the difference. So now I want to take time to work on the left hand side see if I can do a better job of that so as you saw I put some sky fabric back in did a little bit more of that piecework because I can't resist trying to put what my eye sees but I held back I pulled back on the range just a little to let the fabric work for me let the fabric and my eyes make that picture and I'm still a little concerned about the bright yellow cloudy area. And so I'm going to keep working on that. Remember that once we start putting in the ink tense dyes, and once we start doing the thread painting, that's going to add a lot. What we're doing now basically is blocking in color. So don't worry. If things are touch choppy or touch uh, rough, don't worry. Let's see what happens when we continue the process.
So I hope that this has helped you a little bit. And that's why I like to show you me actually doing the job. Because, you know, it's if it were a step-by-step -step process, if it were easy, anybody could do it. But if you really care to make that picture come to life, you can do it. I know you can. So I'm going to go take this quilt, hang it upstairs, spend a week looking at it, maybe not quite a whole week, looking at it see what I'm getting I really am anxious to start sewing it down some of my glue has I mean this has gone on for a while now and some of my glue is getting kind of dried out and I would like to at least get into I'm going to use a neutral thread or thread to match depending on what color and try to zigzag a lot of that down any area where I have too many tiny things I might put a little bit of tool over it and then stitch that down and um, but then we don't worry we've got thread painting we've got the ink drawing to do on it like some of my areas I can't quite find the right color I'm not worried my ink tents will help that so I can shade lightly shade in and get just the shade I want um, I do want to get this done though because I would happen to watch swamp people and saw the most beautiful sunset view and I want to do it and then I'd also like to do a mountain landscape so we better get busy and uh, let's move right on to the next project but we'll finish this one first come back and join me and we'll finish this beach landscape take care and have a great week bye bye